welcome to Lovely Lovebird Designs. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this happy face jellyfish on the rainbow loom. I think it came out adorable and the inspiration for this jellyfish is from these little mini jellyfish. This is from the YouTube channel called Alamo Looms. If you want to make these little mini jellyfish you can check out her tutorials in the description box of mine. So you just have to click on it and then it'll bring you right to this and you can make a little mini jellyfish too. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make the bigger one and it's I got the inspiration also for this. It's my little happy face charm. It's also on my channel with some Santa Claus and I just think that they are adorable. I used confetti bands with this one and clear and I and there's also tie-dye mixed with this and I just think it's really awesome and these are the glow in the darks and they look really nice in the dark so let's get started okay we're sporting a red background today because the bands I'm going to use are the electric purples and once again you can use whatever color you want the color combination and the red you can see this a lot better with the red background and I'm using sweets purple and deep purple also. So this is the electric blue once again and they all glow in the dark and you can use clear or you can even make a red jellyfish, any color that you want. But I'm using basically three colors. So let's get started and I'm using double bands. It is staggered position, arrow facing down. It is five stitches long so I'm going to place the double bands and five stitches. It's one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, now the side of the head. Okay, connect the top pin to the right. And we're just working our way down. Okay, we're coming to the end. And then we're going to connect this pin to this pin. Okay, now we'll work on the left side. Once again, this is an easy charm. And they're super cute. Okay, working our way down. And then finally connecting this pin to this pin. Okay, so now we're going to make a side extension. And I usually use structural bands for it, but I do want him to be more plump. So I'm going to do a little side extension on the side. And you're going to need a single rubber band, place it on the hook, and wrap it three times. So one, two, three. Then you're going to take a double, place it on the hook, slide that right in the middle, bring it back on the hook, and this is one stitch. Then you're going to take another double and slide that on there. And this is two stitches. And here's number three. Okay, so now take the end and you're going to place it right here on this pin, that little um, capping band. Then you're going to stretch this and place it on this pin. Okay, and then we're going to repeat on this side. So once again, a single, one, two, three, then a double, slide that on there, then another double, and finally the last double. Okay, and then you take the end and place it right here. And 
place it right on the top. Okay, and that's your body. Okay, so now we're gonna make the eyes and the big smiley face. And I'm gonna use deep purple for these. You only need three bands for them. And it's you make the eyes first. You take a single, wrap it on the hook, make a figure eight, and then pull that and wrap it again. Or you can wrap it four times. Okay, so now we'll make the other eye. Figure eight, wrap it around again, or just wrap it four times. Then I'm gonna take the electric purple, place it on the hook, and then slide the eyes right on the electric purple. Okay, and then we're gonna place it on these two pins. Just like that, up, and they slid off. Okay, so now take there's take one of these bands in the middle and then slide and put it on top. So the eyes are a little bit so it's like a triangle right here. Now we're making the face, the little smiley face, and we're just gonna stretch a single band across. And when we start looming, I'll show you how to manipulate the face so that it lays like this. And it's a lot of fun. So then you take a single, we're going to put structural bands, and it's going to be a triangle right here, another triangle, and another triangle. Okay, so that is your body, and now let's make some tentacles. Okay, this is easy and fun, and once again, I'm going to use the glow purple for these plus the sweets collection. Okay, and it's gonna be every other, and I'm gonna make around 10 of them. So first I'm gonna take the sweets collection, which is like a sparkly color, put it on the hook, wrap it three times. So one, two, three. Then I'm gonna take the electric glow and slide this on there. So that's one stitch. Then I'm going to go back to, it's going to be every other. The darker color. Bring that. Then go back to the lighter. And it's basically a simple single chain. And it's every other you can see. So that's one, two, three. Then four. And five. Number six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so I want to place this one right here in the middle. That's our capping band. Okay, so now we're gonna make the, the edges. Um, tentacles on the side. I'm gonna use a little bit different pattern this time. Instead of the dark purple and then the light, I'm gonna do dark purple, dark purple. So it's just like mixes up a little bit at the end. So it's gonna be the, the sweets collection one, two, three. Then the dark purple. Okay, and then we'll go back to the electric. Then the dark again, so that's three stitches. Number four. And you can make this all one color, anything you like, just to, you know, spruce it up. Make it pretty. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 
content. Okay, we're going to place it on this pin. Oops, let me put it back on. I'll push this down a little bit. Okay, and then we'll make another one on this side the same as this. So the darker one, two, three, darker again, and we'll go into lighter. So one, two stitches, three. Four, five, six, and you can make them longer too, the tentacles. So you can have more than, you know, longer than ten. And one more. Okay, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're placing that right there. Okay, so this is your layout. Make sure yours looks like this. And we can start looming. Okay, so we're going to pull back the tentacles to the side, pull back this middle tentacle, and it's the darker color, and we're going to grab this side band first, it's the topmost band, and we're going to bring it to the left, and now we're going to grab this one, and it's going to go to the right. Now we're going to stay right there, and we're going to loom this all the way up. Remember, there's this extension on here. There's only these bands right here. So we're going to go all the way down to the bottom and grab the bottommost two bands. Okay, I grabbed one and number two. Once again, we're just looming forward. Now we're coming to the smiley face part. We're going to stop right there. And we're going to bring, put your finger right here so it doesn't come off. Bring this top smiley face part over. So it looks like this. So it's on top of this band. Now we can continue going forward. And we're going to grab this band to connect to the top. Okay, so now we're going to, and this is still on top of this pin, we're going to go on the left side. And we're just grabbing the bottom two bands. Loosen that up a little bit. And we're moving forward. And now we're stopping again. And remember, it's this band, and we're just bringing it over. So I'm going to show you how it looks. You have it anchored like this. This is the smiley face part. And now we can move forward again. And now we stop, and now we'll just finish off with the middle part. And it's this band right here. I'm going to pull back that tentacle. And we're looming forward. Okay, 
okay we're stopping right there and remember we have a band right here that's your smiley face you want this back band the back of the rubber band laying on top of this pen and the front one going down so I'm gonna rest this right here so it's easier to see so you have one back here and one in the front so you can see that really easy. We're going to anchor this band in the head and just loom forward. Okay, I can bring it forward. You got a little smiley face there. You need a double band to make the slip knot. slip knot and now you can take it off the loom and take it off from the bottom slowly You don't need the loom anymore. And you can push that forward. Here's his eyes. Bring the eyes forward. Here's his cute little mouth. Bring it down. And the back bands will hide within the, the main structure. And he's got a big, cute smiley face. You can bring that down. There's the tentacles. It's a cute little round face, and you can hide the excess bands in the back of the head. Just tucking it through. It's just like that. And now I'm going to show you how to make these cute little darker bands for more tentacles. Keep it like this, but you can jazz it up and make them like this too. So I'm going to use the same color as the face, the smiley face. So I'm going to use the deep purple. And I used three bands for the middle and two bands on each side. So I'll use three first. And what I did was I went right in between these two tentacles and found a band right in the middle. Put your hook right through, then you're going to take your darker color, make a slip knot, just like that. Okay, that's one part, then you're going to take your other band, bring it through, make another slip knot, pull it, take another band, pull it through, and another slip knot. And you can take a scissor and snip the end. And then you have a really cool another portion of tentacles in the middle. I'm going to make another one in the middle. And if you think that this is too long, you can snip the end to your, you know, how long you want it, how long, how long or short. So I'm going to place another one right here. any band in the middle. And I need three of the darker. And I'm going to make another little slip knot. Another one and another one. Okay, you can snip the end, and he's coming to life. So that's the two long ones in the middle, and now I'm going to place two short ones on the sides. So I'm going to just pick out a band on the side, and 
and I'm going to place two bands this time so that it's a little bit shorter. Another slip knot. Okay, and then cut the end. And that looks beautiful. And then we'll do one more on this side. So once again, it's the little capping band that I'm taking a little piece of to make the knot. Okay, and one more. and then snip the end. Okay, and you have a beautiful happy face jellyfish. And you can make them any colors you like. And once again, you can move these bands around too. And you can cut them however short, because they curl up too, which is really cool, because they're supposed to be tentacles, so they move around a little bit. And you can bring this smiley down and bring the eyes out and I think it came out adorable and once again if you want to make the little baby jellies go check out the link for the tutorial for Alum Noom's tutorial in my description box okay I hope you like this tutorial please subscribe bye bye